Hello and welcome to the sixth tutorial in the Smile Game Builder tutorial series and part two of the characters and party members one. Here's a quick update on a floating character anomaly from part one. If you remember, some of the motions were apparently missing from the change graphic event for our Marie. It's not a bug per se as I initially thought it was. It seems to occur if you have the playtest window at any time while attempting to edit. SGB doesn't like that and pretty much goes all at sea about it. So make sure it's closed at all times during editing so you can save properly. Okay, moving on. We already created Marie, so the next one in the list would be Ignaz. If you've been following this series and have watched the previous events tutorial video, you'll remember the chest we set up. On the map right here while we're at it this has been bugging me for a while we <coughs> rotate it so that it's front facing like that call it OCD or something but uh, I really didn't like it that way okay so to add Ignaz we will go into walking and speak change the event graphics to Ignaz and I believe it's hero 2a select motion to walk and then his graphic would be that one hero 2 yeah now we go straight into the advanced edit um, <clears throat> add a condition to check if Ignaz is in the party it, sorry is not in the party um, change the display dialogue to something like Hello. For 500 gold, I'll join you and I'll fight alongside you. Do you want? Do you want to pay my fee for my services? I think this will probably have problems with the wraparound so for now we'll just put it on one line and uh, like that should be good to avoid that should be good to avoid the wrap problems the auto wrap <laughs> Okay, create a choice, which in this case d display selection, and we'll have yes or no. Then under the no option, let's put a message suit yourself. Okay, then under the yes option, and this is where it becomes a little more dif difficult to keep track if you're not paying attention because you can't zoom in or out here. We add another conditional branch. This time it's to check the money held, so we add say 
500 which will default to 500 or greater when held um, and then under no one of the cool things about this is that you can actually trace which events belong to which branch or which loop so in under no add another message um, sorry but you don't have enough money come back when you do if you want to hire me uh, that's fine and under the yes we will decrease we will decrease the money by 500 we will add Ignaz to the party whoops and Ignaz and that's it you could also use additional sheets here with specific conditions for this but it's not overly complicated so in this case it's, it's unnecessary besides I like using single sheets if I can as it keeps things clean and tidy and that would be it and what will happen is um, the movement pattern is set to random so he'll kind of like move around just completely at random and probably have to set the movement frequency to great now the next in the list is Lisa she likes eggs so we'll have to add a few chickens for this let's go back to the start map and add a fenced area we'll put it at the bottom right of the screen um, under objects and I believe outdoor somewhere in there it should be a fence you have three options for the fence when you select it you can actually hold the mouse button uh, always been crap at that you can hold the mouse button and drag it across like so oh for goodness sake alternatively you can just place them one by one and then for the upright fences you will need to rotate them individually as well you know what forget it let's just add some free-range chickens um okay to create our chickens we need to have a running speak so we select it we change the graphics and go down to it would be under characters you have an animal there um, set it to run Oh my god, that's so cute. Okay, then in the dialogue, cluck, for want of a better word, the chicken laid an egg. Uh, 
um, any advanced edit we will change we'll keep keep the um, movement frequency to extremely great that's like warp speed but um, on the map you can actually um, hold down the shift key to, to dash the same as in RPG Maker and catch up because trust me if you don't use the shift or if you, if you don't dash you have absolutely no chance of catching this chicken and then we'll set the movement pattern to run away um, yeah we'll keep those settings okay then add an event and then add an item in this case egg Add a number, and then that's it. To um, add some more, you can simply right click, copy, and then paste them on the map. We'll add another two, like so. Now, to create Lisa, we'll have. Um, walking conversation item same as before place her on the map um, change the graphic to maybe <coughs> that's Lisa right Yeah, that's Lisa, and then uh, it would be that one, and we'll give her a sad face. Um, okay, straight into the advanced edit. Tweak the movement setter settings. Um, speed fast pattern random frequency great you or or whatever you want I mean I'm just doing this because uh, I feel like I feel like it now in the display dialogue here we're gonna type something oh my god I can't catch these chickens They're too fast. Will you please help me? And then under the display messages, um, we have another choice, two choices. Yes, you'll help or no, you won't. So under the no event we actually you know we can just copy this one and then paste it in there just change her words to meanie and then she'll have an angry expression and I, th I don't think this changed no it didn't change so we'll change it to sad there <coughs> then under the yes paste again thank you nice big nice big grin text emote some people prefer putting the XD, 
personally I, I like the colon and so obviously she'll be very happy now just for an added effect we should add a weight um, which is under the special effects and we'll say put it to I don't know 1.2 seconds that should be enough change her graphics again um, okay Okay, I lost where I was going with this. Yes. Thank you. Wait. Oh, I know, I know. Okay. We change her graphic, her character graphic. Nope. It should be event graphic. we change it to happy and then she'll do that you should be able to see it on the map and then the weight should be there instead after the change event so when it, you'll see it for about one and a fifth seconds so then you change the event graphic again we can just we, we could have just like copied and pasted this but it doesn't matter um, so that one and then maybe maybe the uh, We'll just we'll just have her wait. You're gonna go and fetch her eggs, so uh, she'll just wait for you very patiently. Now on sheet on condition two, sheet two can the condition is if Lisa is not in the party. and then we change to egg <coughs> change the item and change her dialogue make her happy again you got to keep Lisa happy um, there's more text huh Okay. Yay! Thank you. Now I can have some breakfast. Ah. Yay! Thank you. Now I can have some breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day, don't you know? Okay, and then finally we add her to the party. And I think we'll stop here since it's almost 20 minutes. In the next tutorial we'll focus on Eldred. Since no one knows what he wants, he'll request a random item and I'll show how to set that up. Thanks for watching and all, as always give a like and subscribe for more videos or visit my Facebook, Twitter or blog. Until the next time.